Anita Evans here for Video Language Network, the unique website for authentic English video lessons. Here at Video Language Network, we believe that improving your English begins by watching and listening to English as it is spoken in the real world. Today, we're going to watch and listen to part of an interview with Chris Boykos, art historian and professor, and owner of an art gallery in Paris. In the following segment, I ask Chris about his current art show. In my discussion with Chris about his gallery show, he says that the featured painter does not paint the famous spots of Paris. Let's talk a little about the word spot. In the context of our discussion, the word spot means a physical place. For example, our children have a favorite spot in the park where they love to play. Watch this segment and remember, you don't have to understand every word. Just try to understand the basic meaning, the rest will follow. I'll be back right after with more of your lesson of the day. Here we go. bit about uh, this artist that you have exhibiting right now. They're very nice paintings. Uh, Lionel Trebois is a relatively young Parisian artist uh, who always specialized in painting the city, cityscapes. Mm -hmm. uh, he's very interested in architecture but also the pattern of uh, light and shade uh, that uh, architecture gives to a city with passing figures. And uh, though he paints uh, Paris, uh, he doesn't paint uh, the more famous spots or the historical center. He tends to select uh, rather ordinary views of the outlying districts, um, bringing to them a vision which is all his own. I would say uh, very much taken by light and uh, sometimes also the loneliness or the solitude of the city despite its busyness or its, uh, its great size. Mm -hmm. Anita Evans back again. Let's look at some of the words that Chris uses relating to the artist we discuss. If you have seen some of our other lessons, you know that an idiom is an expression or style of speaking that is not meant to be literal. Let's look at the idiomatic phrase taken by. In our interview, taken by means charmed fascinated or captivated by something or someone. Let's look at some other vocabulary words that Chris uses to describe the style of his artist. The first word is the noun loneliness. Loneliness is feeling alone or isolated without company or friendship. The next word, and closely related to loneliness, is solitude. Solitude is the state of being alone or secluded or to be separated from others. Loneliness is a feeling that is sad, but solitude, a state of being alone, is not necessarily sad and could be desirable. For example, one can enjoy solitude in the mountains, but one does not enjoy loneliness. We hope you have enjoyed today's lesson from Video Language Network. For more lessons like the one you just viewed, join us at our website, www.videolanguagenetwork.com. At our website, you can download more video lessons, plus you can download transcripts, vocabulary aids, and exercises that will help you improve your English language skills. That's all for now. Look for us next time on your local podcast sites. This is Anita Evans for Video Language Network. Bye-bye.